Have you been driving around Douglasville lately and seeing all the construction and wondering what are they building there? Then this is the video for you. I'm going to take you to five sites around Douglasville and tell you exactly what they're building. Stay till the end until number five, because if you have school age children, this is huge news. This is the site of the new Greystone Amphitheater that is scheduled to be complete in spring of 2023. So you'll see here, and I'll add the rendering below. This is where they'll have Douglasville, that little, um, that walk over right there, that bridge. This is the construction site. They're going to have an amphitheater. They're going to have condos, mixed use. So some business development as well as some resi residential development close to downtown Douglasville. This is across from where the old jail was. So we're gonna go across the street to see a rendering of it. So it says, future home of the Douglasville Town Green Project. But like I said, it's been named now Greystone Amphitheater. So it's going to be pretty large. This is site number two, right outside of Arbor Place Mall. Ashton Woods is building a townhome community. I don't know if you would call this the back of the mall or the front of the mall, but if you're on Chapel Hill Road and you make it right toward the mall, it's in the back of that. Construction has been pretty slow. They're definitely not putting up the townhomes quickly, but you can see they have the stakes where the utilities will go. I knew they were townhomes before they even put up the sign because of how close they were together. So they definitely weren't single family lots. So hopefully you'll be able to see that shortly. But they're in the back of Firestone. That's Firestone up at the hill. So hopefully we'll get a good look at the construction. But they are actively building or they're actively prepping the site. There have been no foundations or anything like that, but definitely site preparation is going on. You'll probably get a better view of it this way. If you were wondering what they were building there, that's what's coming there, townhomes. Don't know the price point, but stay tuned to Destination Douglasville. As soon as those are released, I will let you know. This is location number three. This is on Fairburn Road. When you get off at I-20 going east toward Atlanta, if you exit Fairburn Road, this will be on your right, kind of across from Quick Trip. They are building, this is Trayton Homes. It's right adjacent to the Public Service Center. So the Douglas County Police Station is over here. And again, it's off of Fairburn Road. 
very close to the exit, so people that are looking to be very um, accessible to I-20, this would be a great place to live. So they're currently doing the site development here. Our fourth stop is the new Driver Services Center in Douglasville. We are going to be able to get our driver's license renewed, take driving tests. Also, there'll be an opportunity for um, some of the large trucks to um, go take their driving test here as well. It was approved by the state, I believe in 2020, to have a driver services center in Douglas County. So it'll be in between the A1 bail bonds and the jail. I don't know if I was talking about the old jail earlier, but this is a new jail off of Fairburn Road. So it's gonna be in between these two areas where this wooded area is in front of us. So right off of Fairburn Road, that's the new driver services center. In between, also Burger King is on one side, across from the racetrack, right off of Fairburn Road. Our final stop is Legacy Arena, Douglas County School System's new 151,000 square feet multi-purpose facility. Currently, when high school students graduate, they have to go to, to the University of West Georgia for the commencement ceremonies. This will be the first time that these graduations, these large graduations, can happen in our own facility. This will also allow for community events, concerts, plays, trade shows, conferences, conventions, and also sports tournaments like basketball, football, lacrosse, gymnastics, cheerleading, and dance competitions. So this is a huge, a huge facility in Douglas County, and I'm really, really excited about it. Is there anything else that you're interested in seeing in and around Douglas County? Please let me know in the comments and let me know what you think about the top five that I showed you today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for new videos every week.